Hello everyone and welcome to today's talk about spiritual bypassing. If you haven't watched my content before, my name is Lorelai Daly. I am a therapist, artist, writer, healer and teacher. And you can find uh, more of my videos and uh, find out more about me and what I do on my website loreliidali.com. Uh, you can also search my YouTube channel Lorelai's Healing Shack and my Facebook page again Lorelai's Healing Shack for more content, uh, more tips and more information. Let me start by explaining what spiritual bypassing is. On our road to um, spiritual development, self-development, self-knowledge, we do a lot of things um, that are supposed to bring us more awareness, more, more self-awareness, uh, release a lot of old patterns. Um, and some of the things that we do, we think they're uh, bringing us closer to our goal, to our empowerment, but they're actually counterproductive. So this is what we call spiritual bypassing. Um, some of the examples are attending lots of workshops and courses, uh, but then not doing the work that you have learned uh, in the course, not applying the principles in life, or um, relying on um, other people, healers, teachers, uh, psychics to give you the answers, um, but all of the answers are supposed to come from you to yourself. Those are the only answers that are going to bring you enlightenment. And all the people, including myself, we are just guides to help you find your own inner truth. But the uh, most important thing uh, about spiritual bypassing that I want to focus on today is denying your feelings. This is something that is uh, very visible in the positive thinking movement. Um, but it actually um, goes back to when we were children and we have been conditioned to feel only the good feelings, only the positive feelings, as they call it. Um, being happy is fine, uh, being excited is great, being motivated is good. But what about all of those feelings such as sadness, anger, um, shame, guilt? Those are the feelings that are not allowed and it starts in the childhood. When you are a small child and you start crying, the parents tell you to stop crying. Why are you crying? There's no reason to cry. Even though you feel sad and maybe something happened in your little world as a child that made you feel sad, but you are told by the parents which uh, you look up to, which are uh, somebody that you are learning from, that it's not okay to feel sad. When you feel uh, angry as a child because maybe somebody took away your toy, maybe uh, your mom told you that uh, you have to eat peas for dinner even though you don't like them, and you feel angry. Uh, you're being told that it's not okay to feel angry. You have to eat your peas. Uh, you have to share your toys. Uh, you have to uh, listen to the adults, even though most of the time adults tell you not to do something, and uh, when you ask why, they say, because I said so. So again, your feelings are invalidated. So most of our childhood, we feel uh, that it's not okay to feel. It's not okay to feel the uh, negative feelings, as, uh, as they say. I call them unpleasant feelings, not negative feelings, because all of the feelings that we have are important. They're all um, our guidance system, and they are helping us process life as we're experiencing it. So from the time you were a little girl or a little boy, you were told that it's not okay to feel the unpleasant feelings, that your feelings do not matter. Uh, sometimes even when you were excited uh, and you, were just, you just wanted to do cartwheels and run around and uh, laugh out loud, you were told to be quiet because the adults uh, didn't find it convenient for you to be loud and overly excited. So uh, you have not learned to be uh, emotionally mature because you decided that uh, this is what they're telling you, this is what's the appropriate way to deal with the emotion, is to push them down, not to feel them. Uh, and in a lot of cases, you are also uh, being shamed for feeling what you're feeling. Um, I'm sure each and every one of you has heard, oh, stop complaining, stop crying, others have it worse. Uh, children in Africa don't have uh, food and you're complaining about peas on your plate. Um, and yes, like looking objectively, there is people in a worse situation than you. But you are here uh, in this body experiencing what you're experiencing because this is um, your 
personal journey to experience uh, specific situations and the feelings attached to it. So for you, this specific situation may feel like the end of the world or may feel like, you know, it's just so important and you have all of those feelings and it's so valid to you, but you're told that it's not okay, that it's not okay. And especially when it comes to the unpleasant feelings. So uh, you grow up, you become an adult and you're surrounded by other adults who are in the same position. Uh, most of the people have been brought up by uh, similar uh, parenthood methods because uh, this is the, the way the society has been and it's just passed from generation to generation to generation. So most of the adults uh, in your age group are probably uh, not, uh, don't know how to express their feelings either, how to feel their feelings. Um, and uh, again, there comes in the positive thinking movement. Uh, you're looking for a way to improve your life, to uh, start your self-growth journey and you find things like uh, positive affirmations and focusing on the good things in life and yes, I, um, I agree that we all need to feel grateful for all the positive and good things that we have in life but uh, in the extreme we deny all of the unpleasant feelings and those unpleasant feelings are part of our spiritual growth. So if we deny feeling the unpleasant feelings, we are missing an opportunity to work with our shadows, to uh, grow as a human being, to release the old patterns, to learn more about ourselves and to become more true to who we are. Uh, we're not able to uh, become closer to the source, closer to uh, unconditional love when we have pent up unpleasant feelings inside of us because those feelings are showing us that there is something that we need to look at, that there is something that we need to work through. And if we're, if we're not looking at those feelings, if we're not allowing ourselves to feel those feelings, then we're not growing. So we're being shamed for feeling the emotions by our parents, by our partners, by our friends, by the society, even by our teachers and our coaches. Uh, and we learn that um, feeling the feelings, which means being vulnerable, is a weakness. And it couldn't be furthest from the truth. Being able to feel the unpleasant feelings and connect to those unpleasant feelings and actually go through those feelings is a, an amazing strength, is an amazing strength. And it shows you that uh, you are allowing yourself to be who you truly are and connect with uh, where you are in the moment and what you're experiencing in the moment. You're allowing yourself to be human and uh, you're allowing yourself to look at your shadows because um, again the part of the unpleasant feelings is showing you uh, what it is that you need to work on. Some of the unpleasant feelings are connected to specific situations. Um, if you lose your job or your home uh, it's okay to feel sad, desperate, afraid. Uh, those feelings are appropriate, but sometimes other feelings come up that are not connected to a specific situation or you may think they're connected to something that's happening, but um, maybe they're larger than the situation. Maybe they're not appropriate to the situation. And that's when you need to ask yourself, what is this emotion telling me? Uh, why am I feeling what I'm feeling? Uh, what is that feeling that I'm feeling? We lack the emotional maturity and emotional literacy to name our feelings because we've denied them for so long. So the first step to acknowledging the feelings and uh, releasing this uh, spiritual bypassing block that we have created for ourselves is learning to name the feelings. So this is my uh, first tip for you. When you're feeling uh, an unpleasant feeling, Ask yourself, what exactly am I feeling? Um, take a piece of paper, take your notebook and write down exactly what those feelings are. And sometimes you may just say, I feel sad, but there's something much more than that. Uh, maybe there's a feeling of loss. Maybe there's a feeling of rejection. Uh, maybe there's a feeling of not being good enough. So uh, look for the feelings under the feelings and go lower and deeper and deeper and deeper until you reach the uh, root feeling and that root feeling is going to tell you um, it's going to show you the part of you that needs healing and once you get to that part that needs healing and you give it uh, enough attention 
which means you allow yourself to feel the feelings, you accept those feelings because it's okay to feel them, uh, then after that you'll be able to let them go. But only if you feel them first. You need to feel them, acknowledge them, accept them, and only then you can let them go. Uh, only then you can heal them. Because if you don't feel them completely, they're just going to linger under the surface and they will be coming up in uh, most awkward moments in your life, most inappropriate moments. Uh, you may get angry uh, at somebody who cut you, in, uh, uh, cut you in traffic and this anger is just going to burst out, you know, the road rage, as we call it. Uh, it's not connected to that one person who just uh, uh, did something wrong on the road. There's a lot of things underneath that haven't been expressed. So if you really, really want to grow as a person and uh, become more spiritual and become more true to yourself, you need to find out what exactly you're feeling and where is this feeling coming from. Uh, what part of you needs healing. If you deny your feelings for too long and you just push them down and down and down, it creates um, a lot of health problems, physical health problems and mental health problems. Um, anxiety and depression and a lot of uh, physical illnesses, especially the autoimmune diseases, they're showing you that there's emotions in you that are stuck, that have not been looked at, uh, that have been uh, brushed under the carpet for way too long and uh, there's something that you need to look at. When you actually become physically sick, that means that you're past the point of uh, uh, you know, giving yourself a chance to uh, deal with the emotion and with the situation and with uh, a belief that comes with it. And your body is just uh, screaming for your attention. Your body is just telling you like, listen, now is the time. If you don't look at it now, you're just going to get sicker and sicker and sicker. So if you want to avoid uh, a lot of uh, suffering uh, and a lot of pain and a lot of physical pain as well, Please, please, please uh, do not deny your feelings. Do not deny the unpleasant feelings. And also do not uh, deny the pleasant feelings. Um, we, when it comes to feelings, when we start denying the pleasant feelings, when we push the unpleasant feelings down, then we diminish our capacity to feel the pleasant feelings as well. Uh, we become kind of numb become numb and you know we just kind of oscillate on this straight line of feelings so when something amazing happens you're not allowing yourself to feel the excitement because you have to hold your emotions uh, in control you have to hold all of them in control so it's not just the unpleasant emotions that are being stuck but the pleasant ones as well so uh, you're lowering your uh, experience of happiness as well so um, give yourself a chance to connect to your feelings, do not deny your feelings, and please do remember that being vulnerable is a strength. Uh, it shows the strength of character, the strength of perseverance, the strength of being able to look inside and uh, being able to look at your shadows. Not everyone is uh, capable of uh, going through this, of allowing themselves to feel the emotions. Um, so if you allow yourself to do that, and if you allow yourself to be vulnerable, uh, it's actually a, an amazing, amazing strength. And you should be proud of yourself for doing that. So guys and girls, uh, allow yourself to be real. Allow yourself to be who you uh, truly are in the moment. Allow yourself to feel the feelings and go through the emotions and be vulnerable. Um, and allow yourself to grow through this. Uh, don't resort to bypassing that which is unpleasant because through those unpleasant experiences and feelings we grow uh, much faster and much higher and uh, we become more true to ourselves and closer to the source. Now if you need um, a little bit more uh, encouragement or empowerment or need more support, uh, please look up my book Miracles of Choice. Um, it talks uh, in depth about uh, the choices that we make in life and also in, uh, in reference to the feelings, how to feel uh, more uh, in more awareness, uh, how to feel uh, more deeply and uh, how to make choices in life that are the best for you and how to grow even more and more in this lifetime. And also you can uh, look me up on my website lorelaiidali.com.
uh, check out my Facebook page, uh, Lorelei's Healing Shack. Uh, look me up on Instagram as well. Uh, I'll put all of the links in the description of this video. And uh, I hope that it was helpful to you on your spiritual journey to learn a little bit more about uh, not feeling your emotions as part of spiritual bypassing. And I wish you all to have a wonderful rest of the day.